our unhappy, addicted, ego-driven condition has become not simply the source of our own unhappiness, that was bad enough, but now it's the source of great discomfort and dislocation for all life and human society on the planet. We, we are out of control. We are basically <coughs> severely addicted to things and cannot stop ourselves. Uh, and we know, or we should know, that there is a, not enough petroleum, heavy metal, so forth and so on, in the planet to give all the thing addicts, all the things that we know they must have in order to be happy. We have spread this intellectual virus from pole to pole to Turkmenistan and Borneo, to the upper Amazon and to the Tajiks. Everybody wants kids, you know. Everybody wants the pause that refreshes. Uh, what are we going to do about this? Well, so far, we've been treating it like an endless garden party. There's no serious plan on the table to deal with this at all. There is a hegemony of life on the planet, not necessarily a hegemony of intelligence. Intelligence is not a license to trample. It, the, the proper role of intelligence in a planetary ecology is that of gardener, caregiver and, uh, and uh, maintainer of balance. Ignorance is no longer an excuse. Anthropology in the last hundred years has laid at our doorstep the tools necessary for an archaic reconstruction of uh, society and uh, human values within that society. It's inconceivable that Western industrial capitalism could run on another 500 or 1,000 years. Uh, it, it will not continue as it has. It will deteriorate under the pressure of resource scarcity. And what few democratic values we have obtained, what little space for reasoned discourse has been created, will be the first to be swept away. So it's, it's very, very important that people take back their minds and that people analyze our dilemma in the context of the entire human story, from the descent onto the grassland to our potential destiny as citizens of the galaxy and the universe, we are at a critical turning point. And as I say, the tools, the, the data that is, holds the potential for our salvation is now known. It is available. It is among us. But it is misrepresented. It is slandered. It is litigated against. And uh, it's up to each one of us to relate to this situation in a fashion that will allow us to answer the question that will surely be put to us in some point in the future, which is, what did you do to help save the world?